Hello Vapors. Uh, I just got finished building this Kraken with a uh, a Tiger Coil, a Leo Shims Tiger Coil. And if you don't know what that is, it's a twisted uh, 28 gauge and 0.8 millimeter gauge twisted wire. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's, it's awesome for flavor. Anyway, uh, this is a six wrap coil around a 330 seconds drill bit and the ohms came out to 0.6 this is a dual wick single coil build on the Kraken if you can see this it's dual wicks single coil and a little test fire Okay, and uh, I said in the build video that I was going to do another video uh, because it's hard, you know, manipulating the camera to get a good view from my, my building view, uh, the camera view of it. So anyway, um, here we go. We're going to do a little vapor production video, and uh, I hope you're having a great day. It's turned out to be pretty nice. It's cold outside. So here we go, here's some vapor production for you. Now, uh, it vapes very well. Uh, lots of vapor pro uh, production. The flavor is awesome. The, uh, the Tiger Coil produces a very good flavor. Uh, I would recommend giving it a try, see how you like it. It might be the end all be all of your coils, building experiments or whatever. Uh, I like it. And uh, so let me do a couple of more vapes. And uh, as I was saying in, in, the, in my vapor video, uh, my building video, that if you get the density, the cotton density right, going through the, the deck, the, the upper deck of the atomizer on a Genesis style, uh, the cotton, or excuse me, the juice will flow freely up the cotton, up the cotton wick to the coil area. If the cotton's too dense, you won't get the flow of juice up through uh, the upper deck of the atomizer. Uh, the cotton will swell, and it'll swell so much that it will restrict the flow of juice up to the coil area. So keep in mind when you're building Genesis Addies that you need to use the least amount of cotton as possible. Uh, and with, with this build, the dual wick single coil build, uh, with the right density of cotton going through the upper atomizer deck, the, going through the wick hole, you don't even need to tilt the jenny. You, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do this. You can hit it. You can vape it just like this. The cotton wick will keep up with it. You won't get the dry to semi-dry hits that taste like poo-poo. Get your de cotton density right going through the wick hole, going through the upper deck of the atomizer, and you won't have any problems with it. It'll taste good. It'll work good. Now, every now and then, you might want to tip it, you know, just to make sure you're getting that juice flow or whatever. But, I mean, hey, you don't have to do this. You can just so anyway, this was my vapor production on the Kraken with a dual wick single coil single tiger coil build. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Vape on 
and vape strong. One more for the road. All right, y'all have a good one. See you online. Oh, by the way, vape on, vape strong. And if you have any questions or you are curious about building with atomizers using cotton as a wicking medium, please visit and join Obsessive Cotton Disorder Facebook group. Obsessive Cotton Disorder Facebook group. Lots of good information there. Lots of people with good advice. Check us out. See you later. Have a good one.